Alright, so we're talking hockey. Yep, you guessed it. NHL Stanley Cup Playoff Prediction is back. So, I hope you guys enjoy. And, uh, real quick, we're going to take a look. Um, we're not going to take a look, sorry. Uh, real quick, we're just going to just go over some games. Games, so... <coughs> actually, and I wanted to just share... No, I wanted to share the whole screen. So, as you can see here, uh, you guys can see the screen. Uh, we have the games, and I have the standings. Uh, first game one is actually going to be tomorrow. Uh... And that is going to be at 7.15 p.m. on NBC Sports. NBC, uh, to be exact, I believe. Yes, that one's going to be on NBC. Right now, they're 0 0 0 because they're tied right now. And we do have limited in-person uh, attendance, so let's go. All right, so starting off with the Bruins. Uh, they've been struggling lately. Um... I think, yeah, they've been struggling a little bit. They've been losing some, winning some, losing, losing that they lost to the Capitals. They beat the, they beat the Islanders. They lost to the Rangers. They lost to the, uh, they beat the Bruins. They lost to the Devils. They won to the Devils. <coughs> and then everything else is really good, except that 0-1 loss on Pittsburgh. And the 46 loss in Buffalo. So let's get to right now tomorrow at 7 15. They're playing. Who we'll against Danny right now? They're gonna, they're gonna, they finished third in the division. Division. Uh, Lord, yeah, it's final. They finished third in the division. Which isn't too bad if you think about it, honestly. This division was a tough one. So I'll give them credit, at least, for that. That's part of it. So, um, for that one, now we're gonna go to my NHL Stanley Cup bracket. How for that one, I predicted, I don't know what this is in Baruch. Yes, so for that one, I predicted NYI wins. <coughs> Sorry, not NYI. Oh, uh, Boston wins uh, in six games. 4 to 2, if you don't know anything hockey. 4 to 2, I said Boston win. And then, and then I have, the NYI, uh, and New York Islanders being the Pittsburgh Penguins in 5. I know when we go to the New York Islanders, Stats. So yeah, the New York Islanders have been doing pretty bad lately. Uh, they lost to the Bruins. Obviously, we saw that in overtime. Um, they gave up a two-goal lead against the Buffalo Sabers. Everything else is pretty good. Uh, they're pretty good, but they've been struggling lately for the third. So I have uh, them beating Pittsburgh Penguins. I feel like Pittsburgh doesn't have gold, gold tending. Like if you look at uh, Sorokin and uh, uh, Varlama, uh, wait, look, if you look at their gold tending matchup, it's a uh, pretty good uh, Sorokin and uh, Varlama. Sorokin have been tip top shape lately. Uh, he has gotten some losses. Here and there, but I feel like Varlama totally lost it. Uh, every time he starts, basically it's a loss for the Islanders. Uh, but I think the Islanders will probably end up turning Varlama. But uh, yeah, I think New York Islanders will win. So now we're going to go over. So that's and I the NYI beating Boston. Uh, I was gonna say Game Seven needed. Um, so it would be a game seven matchup, which would be insane right now. I know that, but it would be a game seven matchup, which would be good, pretty fun, uh, right now. And New York, I was gonna say, with the game seven. So now, let's head over, uh, north to 
headed to Alberta. That area. So there's going to be some hard fought series here. Definitely. Between Toronto and Montreal, who just clinched, and Edmonton and Winnipeg. So I have uh, Montreal advancing in seven. It's going to go to a game seven no matter who advances, but it's going to be a game seven. Also, you can join my bracket challenge league. Please just message me if you want to join. But I am going to have it in seven. There's no doubt about it. It's going to be in seven games. Uh, Montreal wins four to three. And then I have Montreal there. And then Winnipeg. I have Winnipeg in seven games against Edmonton. So you heard that right. Both North Division playoff games going to seven. And game seven in the Winnipeg Edmonton. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to Ed, uh, overtime, but I would be surprised as well. So. Um, then we have Montreal playing Winnipeg. I'm going to give game to five, like five games, uh, four to one, uh, win, uh game. Uh, Montreal upset over Winnipeg. Winnipeg doesn't have the goaltending needed. Yes, they got a shutout against the Canucks, but I feel like the Canucks, I mean, they've been pretty bad lately, and they beat them five to three the previous day. I was watching that game, 5-3. to three. So, I I don't think Winnipeg is great goaltending, but Montreal has Shake Allen, who's already a Stanley Cup champion, uh, with the St. Louis Blues, which we'll get to in a little bit. Uh, so, I he's already a Stanley Cup champion. Terry Price has been amazing lately. He has been goalie against the Edmonton Oilers. I forgot whether it was yesterday. Wednesday. Yeah, it was Wednesday. That goal was beautiful game. They he got the loss but the Oilers are also giving a good offense and defense and all that. But I'll give it to them, the goalies. I think the goalies will be good. They also have uh Tyler Tafoli has been outstanding and oh don't forget Cole Caulfield. Yep, that's very good. <coughs> so now we are going up to the West. So, in the West Division, we have Colorado, St. Louis, Vegas, Minnesota. So, I think it both, again, will go to uh, Game 7. Both great goaltending matchups here. I think it will be a goaltender versus goaltender matchup here. And Colorado gets St. Louis. I have St. Louis in 7. Uh, I feel like Colorado, yes, people are going to... People are saying uh, Philip Grubauer has... Um, not been good lately, but um, Philip Grubauer has been doing reasonably well. Uh, has been doing good lately. Yeah, I know a lot of people are saying, yeah, he's been good. Lately. But in my opinion, if he's been doing good lately, Colorado got him a shutout against the LA King. Why did he play in yesterday's game? I lost that one. It would have been a 6 0 win easily again. Like, okay, I know he needs a rest, and honestly, every goalie needs a rest, obviously, win or lose. But, I mean, that was a golden opportunity right there. Uh, Phil Brubauer has been outstanding lately. I agree with that, but I feel like he doesn't have this playoff hockey skills. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't have the skills enough. He doesn't have the skills to win. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't have enough skills. So then, let's just go over to Vegas and Minnesota. So, actually, we're going to talk St. Louis. So, St. Louis, they have, I forgot his name. Russo? Billy Russo? Billy Russo, maybe? I have no idea his name. I forgot it. Please let me know in the comments. I'm probably saying it wrong right now. Right now. But then I, uh, but then there's Jordan Bennington. Outstanding performance last night. The Blues were 3 0 down in the first, anyway, second period. They scored. Which in the next two periods, second and third. 
seven goals against, I don't even know who that goalie was, but yesterday in Minnesota's net, but Kakunin, Kakunin. Kakunin, I think right now, should be embarrassed about himself. They had a three-goal lead. They choked it big time. I watched that yesterday as well. Uh, they choked it big time, uh, but I think they'll bounce it back. So I think Camp Talbot will probably start the playoffs against Minnesota with Minnesota and Vegas. Um, Minnesota and Vegas have been officially uh, out at this time. That uh, has been officially confirmed. Actually, it should be a Minnesota Avalanche. Right? Is it Minnesota Vegas? Wait, one second, guys. Yeah. Wait, it's not Minnesota Vegas. Is it Minnesota Vegas? Both in Minnesota Abs. It was Minnesota Abs. Okay. It is confirmed. It was Minnesota Abs. They changed it. It's Minnesota Vegas. So i have still. I think I'm gonna change mine now. Uh. Minnesota Vegas real quick. Alright. Wait, no more can I do? did it quickly um so sorry about that if you didn't see my hand i'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick so i'll be back give me a minute i'm gonna put myself on mute real quick so hang on one minute Okay, we are back. <laughs> All right, so, so get, let's get back to the bracket. Sorry about that. So yeah, I didn't know that it was gonna be a, a Minnesota. Oh, we're on the uh, last year. Oh, there's my bracket. Yeah, I didn't know it was going to be a Vegas-Minnesota game. Uh, so, I changed my, so my bracket. But I said Colorado, St. Louis, uh, St. Louis in seven. Yes, it'd be good goaltending, but no, they don't at the same time. Uh, Johansson was amazing yesterday. He already got used to the new team, as you 
I didn't know he got traded from Buffalo. But let's go over now Vegas and Minnesota. I ha I changed mine now to Vegas in seven to Minnesota in seven against as was possible. But I don't think Minnesota against Vegas Minnesota in seven is possible. So I put mine as Vegas in seven because Vegas <coughs> if you think about Vegas I feel like they have a more powerful team. The goaltending is good. Leonard and Tori. Defense is good. Offense is crazy. Meaning good. I think Vegas wins in some. Uh, let me know down below. So then we get to St. Louis and Vegas. Now obviously this one is going to be a big one. It's going to be a 4-2 win for Vegas. Again, goaltending is a problem here for St. Louis. Uh, I don't think uh, Big Big Wing Big Wing Biddington will be good enough against a Vegas team who loves to score. So then now let's go over to the Central Division uh, 2021 here. So in the Central, we have Carolina, Nashville, Florida, Tampa. Bay Lightning. So let's get over to the first one, which is Carolina National. Big upset here. I know a lot of you are probably saying, sorry, why are you going for Carolina losing to Nashville? Nashville wasn't even that good lately in, in the in the season. Uh, there are two wins over the Canes. Okay, so do you have more evidence that they're pretty good? I don't. But here's my thing, opinion. Carolina goaltending. Check. That's pretty good. Carolina goaltending is good. Defense. X. Not so good. Offense. Definitely. I think defense will cost them. So. I'm going national in six. Now there's a sunshine state rivalry. For the, for the Panthers or Tampa Bay Lightning. <coughs> Again, you're probably saying, Shark, you're crazy. Tampa has been bad lately. Two, loss, two loss, losses against the Florida Panthers. They've been bad lately. Why do you want Tampa to win? Defense. Let's go over the checklist. Florida. Goaltending? Definitely a check. Amazing goaltending. Florida defense. They're missing egg blood. X. Offense. Definitely more offense. Yes. Yeah. Um, let's go over Tampa. Tampa goaltending. Not so much. I mean, yeah, Tampa goaltending. Not so much. Tampa defense. Check. Tampa offense. Check. So, and I, I feel like defense matters more than goaltending. I was thinking Florida would win, and I was, I went, went back to the like, net. Nah, Tampa will win. I was like, no, Florida, 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 Tampa, Tampa. Well, like, I was alternating, but then I finally decided on Tampa. Uh, so yeah. So now. So, uh, Vegas versus Minnesota, there's no doubt Vegas wins because they're goaltending 4-2 in the series. Sixth game. So, now we're going to Nashville, Tampa Bay. Obviously, Tampa Bay, goaltending, not so much. Nashville, goaltending is a big check. So, I feel like the goaltending will be crucial here. I'm going Nashville in 8. Uh, in 8. Nashville in 7. I know a lot of people are asking, what? Well, there's no in game. So I think Nashville in seven could be a good matchup here. But uh, let me know. And then I have Nashville versus Vegas. Uh, not Nashville versus Vegas. And then now we're going to move to the semifinals and therefore the finals. So here I'm going to uh, click, yep. 
So, here I have 49 total goals scored in the Stanley Cup Final Series. Obviously, it is possible it never happened, I don't think, but yeah. So, Vegas, Minas Vegas, Montreal. I think Montreal has the offense and the defense and definitely the goaltending to beat the Vegas Golden Knights in seven. You heard me, seven NHL Stanley Cup playoff games. And then I have the New York Islanders against the Nashville Predators. <laughs> I'm not so sure about this one, but I feel like New York has been good lately and bad lately, but I think they're going to bounce back in the playoffs. Barry Trost has been good in the playoffs lately. I'm going New York, Montreal, Stanley Cup Final. And I think this Stanley Cup Final is going to a Game 7. And Montreal wins game seven in overtime and 49 uh, teams, 49 goals scored. <coughs> so that is going to, uh, oh, let me submit mine real quick. Oh, I forgot to submit my bracket. I don't think it's submitted yet. Same pick. Great picks. Look, you created an option bracket. Okay. Yeah, I forgot to submit it real quick. Okay. I don't want to create a bracket here. Yeah, I don't want to create a bracket. <coughs> yeah, I want to transfer my bracket. I don't want to transfer it. Here. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to this bracket. Uh, do I, am I in? Hey, let me just check, am I in? Oh, well, I'm not, not sure if I'm in yet. I just want to be confirmed in real quick. Oh, I'm not sure whether I'm in. Yeah. Okay. So I'm in uh, that challenge. Alright, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I know it's been a long, boring one probably for you guys. I know. No more Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels is on hold this week. Uh, so I made this video. Peace out, ladies.